Hey, it's Matt from Tradesman Digital Marketing. In today's video, I'm going to walk you through how to edit keywords. This video is going to go over how to add, remove, and change keywords inside of your Google Ads account. Now, how do we get to our keywords in order to change them? The first thing we have to do is select the campaign we want to change our keywords in. So for this example, we're going to use our pool installation campaign, which is already set up. We're going to come over here to keywords. We're going to hit search keywords, and then we're going to scroll down and be able to see all of the keywords in our account. Now, if we only want to change it for a certain ad group, we're going to select the ad group, just the keywords in this certain ad group. And I recommend changing them generally based on an ad group level. It's just easier to manage and uh, you can easily segment everything. You can see what uh, keywords are performing. It's just much easier that way. So once we get into here, how do we add? How do we remove? How do we change things? The first thing is if you want to remove a keyword, you're unhappy with it. All you have to do is come to this little green dot here, click the edit button and hit remove. This will remove the actual keyword. Uh, it'll come up with, are you sure you want to per uh, permanently remove the keyword? Yep you hit confirm and that will delete the keyword inside your account now say you want to change the match type and a match type is very important if you have a broad match if you have a phrase match if you have an exact match these will drastically change the effectiveness of your campaign and depending on what business you're in if it's e-commerce if it's service campaign one is going to be more preferable to your campaign and more successful than another one. So for service campaigns that we normally work in, we use a lot of exact match almost exclusively, and we stay away from broad and phrase match most of the time. Uh, that being said, there are certain times where we need more search volume, more keywords to look at, and maybe we want to switch a keyword to phrase match. How do we do that? We're going to hit the exact match, the match type here. We're going to come up to phrase or broad match, and we're going to click on it. And now we've just changed the actual keyword type to phrase match. And if we wanted to switch it back to exact match, all we have to do is click on again the match type and hit exact match. And that's all you have to do to switch the match type. Now say we have a keyword that we don't actually like. Uh, maybe fiberglass pools is just not converting well or we don't like it. Uh, all we have to do is click on the little pencil icon here and we're able to change it. Now say we want to do fiberglass pool installation uh, near me. All we have to do is type that in, hit save, and we can change the match type if we'd like. I'm just going to leave it here as exact match, and we're good to go. Uh, if we want to add keywords, we're going to come up here to the big plus icon, and we're going to click on it, and then it's going to come up with a nice little uh, list of potential keywords we might want to add to the account. If you have a certain product or service, you can type it in. So let's say pool installation. And all the keywords that Google thinks we might be interested in will pop up. We could click on pool installation near me, pool builders, pool contractors. And all we have to do to add these keywords is hit save. So say we want all of these in exact match. How do we change the broad match, which it's currently in? If you want broad match, by the way, just leave it blank. There's no parentheses. There's no brackets around these words. If you want exact match, you're going to have to put brackets around them. And going through each and every one uh, is going to be a big pain in the butt. So what I recommend doing is coming over to a website called AdWords Wrapper. All you're going to have to do is copy these keywords. Uh, come here to AdWordsWrapper.com. Paste the keywords in here. Hit wrap keywords and then scroll down to the bottom and copy the exact match and they're already in the brackets and we're just going to paste them here and now we have all of the exact match in our account all we have to do is hit save and we have successfully added our exact match keywords to our account now that covers everything in terms of changing uh, removing and adding there are two other things I would recommend to save some time say you had like 200 keywords in your account and you want to change them all to exact match or all to broad match whatever it is um, what you're gonna have to do is click on the little square icon here and then you can hit edit and then what we can do is scroll down here to change all match types and we could change this all to exact match if we wanted to. We could leave it as broad match, phrase match, whatever you want it as. Uh, you have the option to keep the actual originals and then create duplicates with new match types. So they're going to double out essentially uh, whatever is already in the account. And then we, all we have to do is hit apply. And now all of our keywords have been successfully changed to uh, exact match. It's very easy to do. Another thing you could do is click on this. So if you wanted to select a certain keyword, uh, you can add different uh, max cost per click bid limits, which is generally done with manual CPC bidding. If you're using any sort of automated bid strategy, I generally recommend going against this just because it's going to make things complicated and Google does a better job determining max cost per click bid limits than a human can. Uh, you could also change the final URL. Uh, this will redirect certain keywords to a different uh, landing page. This is going to make the account a lot more complicated than generally it needs to be. I like to have certain ad groups focused on certain landing pages just to keep it nice and simple but if you choose to do, do so you can add a different final URL 
here for your individual keyword. If you wanted to pause the actual keyword, all you have to do is come here to pause uh, and you've paused the uh, keyword. If you want to remove it, again, just hit the red button. If you want to enable it, hit the green icon. So that's how to set up keywords, how to add them, how to remove them, how to edit them, everything when it comes to changing the actual keywords in your ad group and campaign. If you have any questions regarding keywords, leave a comment down in the comment section down below. I'd be happy to answer them. Other than that, you guys have a wonderful day and take care.